Last month, I decided to ditch streaming services entirely and set up my own personal media server. And here's how you can too. I'm using a totally free and open source application called Jellyfin to do this, so that's what we're gonna use for this video. To keep this nice and tidy, I'm gonna split this into two videos. One showing you how to set up your media server and another video showing you how to add media to it. Be sure to favorite this video so you can come back to it later. To start off, go onto the Jellyfin website and download the .exe for the system that you want to run your media server on. I'm using a laptop here, so I'm gonna choose this option. Go ahead and go through the install process. It's the same for like every application. When you're done, go to your search bar, type in Jellyfin and open up the Jellyfin tray app. Now click the arrow on the bottom right of your screen, right click the Jellyfin app icon and click open Jellyfin. This will automatically load up your Jellyfin server in your web browser and it should let you go through the server setup process. At one point, you'll reach this screen where you can set up your media libraries. Each type of media should be confined to a specific library. So for example, if I wanna add movies to my media library, I'll click add media library, then select the content type as movies and then select the folder on my computer where I want to store all of my movies. If you have a separate hard drive that you wanna add your media to, create this folder on that drive. And if you wanna add TV shows, music, etc., it's the same idea. Now you can continue through the setup process. I'm just gonna leave everything as default and that's it. You can sign into your media server and see the libraries that you just set up, which have nothing in them because that's going to be the next video. So be sure to follow for more.